twist and shout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Cody Lindley. You may have seen me in cool magazines such as Twist. What projects are you working on now? Projects that I'm working on now, well, I'm mostly focusing on my music. There's a lot lined up for me in the future, so keep your eyes open and look out for Mr. Lindley. But um, I've just been writing, singing, um, and playing the guitar a lot, coming up with a new album. So it'll be a lot of rapping, it'll be very funky, um, lots of instruments, real cool vibe. Tell us about um, Jake Ryan's return to Hannah Montana. Jake Ryan's return to Hannah Montana is coming soon. Uh, actually, they said late January is the release of season three's episode, including Jake Ryan. Uh, I filmed it at the same time as I was working on Dancing with the Stars, so it was really fun to see the whole cast get back together, practice a few dance moves with Miley, and shoot an awesome episode. It's full of lots of crazy twists and it's very fun so check it out people always ask about you and Miley what's your relationship like now how do you guys keep in touch Miley and I um, we are like I don't know, how can I describe this Miley and I are awesome friends we've been great friends for probably three or four years um, we keep in touch, we call. I'm really bad about texting, and so we'll text for a little while, and then like, she'll text me. Like, I'll be like, hey, how are you doing? She's like, I'm good, I'm just chilling in New York. I'm like, oh, I'm in Texas. She's like, oh, that's cool. How's your brothers? And then like a month later, I'll text her back. I'll be like, my brothers are good. And she's like, you know, you suck at texting. So anyway, we call, and then whenever we're both in town, like we're both in LA, um, sometimes I go chill at her place, at her house, and I love hanging out with her and her family. They're very fun, and they're like me, because they got a lot of energy. Woohoo! We know you recently rapped Forget Me Not. Give us a little background on the movie and your character. Forget Me Not is a, um, it's a very different film than I've ever done before. It's um, very edgy. Um, and it's opening new doors for me as an actor. It was a really cool project to be a part of. It's a horror film, so it's very, very scary. I warn anyone who gets scared easily, definitely you might want to let your parents see it first before you go see it. But for you brave soldiers out there that want to see me in a new film, check it out. It's um, it's going to be really, really fun, and it's actually an indie film, so um, the, re the, the release on that is going to be coming in about four or five months, probably on DVD, uh, but I will keep you posted on when it comes out when I hear more. Thanks a lot, Twist Magazine. Peace! Have you had any embarrassing moments lately other than this interview? <laughs> uh, um, embarrassing moments. Well, oh, man. Um, I think the mo oh, man. the most embarrassing moments were probably when my grandma. Oh, I can't do that to my grandma. She's gonna be like, the first time you talk about me in the magazine is an embarrassing moment. But, um. I would say when my brothers met Edita. Um, when I was doing my first live performance on January 4th at the American Airlines Center, I was doing the Foxtrot and Jitterbug with Edita Slowinska, my former partner on Dead to the Stars. Not Julian, but Edita. Anyway, the most embarrassing moment was when my brother Chad, who's um, her age actually, he's 26. When he met her, he um, he just embarrassed me because, like, when Edita wasn't looking and she was talking to my 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 mom, 
My brother Chad was making all kinds of faces like, she's so hot. Like, oh my gosh, she's so hot. And um, he just made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and so, but it was fun. Hey, that's what brothers are for, to embarrass you. So if your brother or your sister ever embarrass you, you should be happy because you're an only child. You only got your parents to embarrass you. Have you been on any good dates lately? Where'd you go and what did you do? Man, good dates lately. Yes. Well, the good thing about being an actor is that I live in LA and so in January, you can have a nice stroll on the beach and it's still warm outside. So I'd say my last date that was awesome was just hanging out with one of my friends. Um, it was like a first date, chilling on the beach in the sand because that's one of my favorite places to be. I feel so free in the sand. 